Scott and Peter try to keep up with the shark to observe the details of the feeding process. They must maneuver as close as possible without actually getting in the shark's way. I can't see She's the carcass. coming up to hit us right here. Give her room, you guys. This is a big shark. Go, keep, go in, Peter. She's about to take it. Pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Now there are two great whites circling below. In the only study of white sharks in their natural undisturbed state, Scott and Peter take photographs of each individual shark involved in the kill. Good like that. She's underneath you. Hey, that's a big one in there. She's 18. The sharks are here because of the food, but they're interested in anything on the surface. They often bump the researcher's boat or mouth the motor. Whether from hunger, aggression, or simple curiosity, no one knows. Previously, it was thought that there is only one shark at each carcass. But we've since discovered that there are more, from three to five sharks arrive to investigate the kill. There is no feeding frenzy, and the carcass is approached in a cautious and controlled manner. Access to the food may be determined by a series of visual displays and postures. The white shark has a body language of its own, which we're only beginning to recognize. swim side by side. With the pectoral fins held down, mouth slightly agape, the sharks move closer and closer to each other until one gives way. Size seems to be the determining factor in dominance. The larger sharks control the scene. A shark approaches the carcass hunched in full display posture. A larger shark rises up from below. The first one arches its body and quickly gives way. The bigger shark has established its right to feed first. <laughs> 